What's up guys, this is the Info Fox Hot Gears channel. Before we start reviewing this gun, we give a shout out to the Grim Page um, paintball and cosplay channel. And for that, the reason why I gave him a shout out, it gives me an idea to make a cosplay video. Which, it's coming soon, but it's still in development. But now we're um, coming up with a few other ideas. But anyways, now today we're reviewing the, um, the Empire BT... TM7. This is like a, one of the uh, Hitler and Kloch licensed paintball gun that was made by Empire. Um, with that being said, uh, this is probably one of the rarest guns that you can get on the market. Um, it can go around to between 500 to 800. Why well, I think I because I because when I was looking about this gun, there was one gun that caught my eye that was eight hundred dollars. But I mean, two days later, I was thinking about save money for it. I kind of saw it. it got sold that quick. With that happening, now I was looking around and I bumped to a guy who was selling for 300 or a gun trade-in. So what the story said, I traded a gun for like for a tip of TMC and he granted yes to see how I would trade the gun. So now I officially have the rarest gun on the market in my hands. Um, so we're going to go to the few features about this gun. Um, so for one reason, everyone's going to be talking about because this is probably MP7. There's a... Does the full stock work? It does. You can adjust it into three levels. Level one's right here. Level two is right here. Oh my god. That went too far. Level two is right here. And level three is all the way to the back. And then that's pretty much the three levels of the stock. It's not supposed to go any longer because it's supposed to be a submachine gun, not a uh, assault rifle. Um, another feature is the hopper fed is pretty different than the uh, other hopper. It still has that axle hopper feed neck with the, let me, I mean, not exactly the same, but the concept, yes. Um, so it requires to have a lot electrical hopper on the gun. And suggests you to have a long neck for the gun. For the, so when you can play paintball, you can have your sights. So for example... Um, planning to do a Navy SEAL loadout with this gun. I only have one parts for it. I need to grab other parts for it. But here I have the part for it. So this is my uh, sight mark reflex sight or the, the uh, knockoff the EOTech sight. And that's pretty much you can put it uh, 50 mm sights in the, in the back, the front end, and the sides. Um, so I'm still working on that. Um, and okay, so pretty much you can customize anything you want, or if you want the sides off, you can screw them off with the wrench. Okay, now now to the uh, fire option mode. So the fire option mode is pretty simple. You turn it on, and your eyes are on. You can switch to the single fire, to burst, to full auto. And then if you guys want to know how fast the thing shoots, I can turn it off. And then turn the eyes on, and I show you guys how what each fire mode sounds like. But I'm gonna just pay attention to the ticking sound. This is single fire, a burst, and full auto. So it takes like four sh four trigger press the trigger four times to to activate each fire mode. Uh, single fire is single fire, but full auto it takes like four times. One, two, three, four, and it fires. Fully automatic. And then you won't have to do it again as long as it keeps beeping, beeping like. Uh, once it beeps like three times, it will deactivate the fire mode and you have to reactivate it again. But it doesn't take long to activate the fire mode. Once you're done here, you can turn it off and boom. So another thing I gotta show you guys, if you guys happen to own this gun, you're gonna have problems with it if you do not know how to work this thing. The, you cannot turn it on as if the fire mode is on full auto burst or single fire. It must be set on safety and turn on. And then from there you can operate the gun. So I'm gonna turn it off. And then the barrels. So I mean before we get to the barrel, the, the folding stock. This is probably one of the only Empire folding stock. You can go online and get a real folding stock, but this is made by Empire, so this is another unique uh, uh, grip that you can find. Um, nothing very fancy about it. It just gives it that actual original MP7 look. 
And then now for the barrel. So the barrel can take only the barrel that contains the BT battle tested uh, barrel stock. So you can go to it. this one will look nice if you get the uh, BT MT, the TM15 barrel. Or it's a silencer, the auto clocker silencer, which I really don't care for the auto clocker silencer. If once you put that, you can have a silenced. Oh, it doesn't work, but it makes a fashionable look of a silencer uh, submachine gun. Um, so that's pretty much it with the gun review. Uh, my opinion of the gun, it works pretty fine. It's a solid gun. I traded in for the TMC, and it's pretty nice. Um, I don't see anything less of a disadvantage. Um, another thing, before anyone start looking up research, this thing doesn't have that on and off on gauge. So I can show you what an um, Empire uh, Axle 2.0 looks like versus um, the their nozzle. They both look very genetically almost different, actually. This one has it on an off switch, so you could turn it on, off, on, off. This one doesn't have it. However, it makes the air, t if you twist the air tank, it comes out easily because this little ventilation right here spits out the com compressed air and then boom, you're safe. Take the air tank out. With this pointy thing, this is another uh, a rare thing that I found, the guy was trading me with. This right here is the on and off eject switch. You can take it off because the air tube that I got also has that uh, air release too when you're done with it. You just twist it and then all the air that's in the tube spits it out and then you're safely to take the thing out and boom, it goes off. Um, the Empire Axle 2.0 and the, or the Axle is not generically different than the uh, the uh, bt7 but that's all that right that's all i gotta show you guys right here um i'll show you more once i customize this gun more often but you know with the covid 19 and job loss people and everything it's gone really hard for other people for me my hours getting cut so <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be very hard but anyways we're, we're still growing back and we're still surviving the covid 19 so um before I end the video here, same again, shout out to the Grim page because I'm going to make that, make that cosplay video eventually. Um, otherwise, that's what's going to be happening in the next video. Um, if you guys like the video, smash and subscribe to the channel. And um, if you guys want more, be sure to check my uh, videos in my channel for more uh, other content about it. Um, so I do realize that uh, we got to thank you guys for those 40 subscribers for watching my channel so i appreciate you guys subscribing my channel so what we'll, we're, we're going to try to be make more videos often just gonna be busy with the covid 19 process but anyways hope you guys safe and wear those masks wherever you go and wash your hands and be sure to subscribe put a thumbs up and smash that notification bell if you guys want more videos like this and catch you guys later